he might not have the most recognizable face or political name. But U.S. Senator Rob Portman's stock is on the rise in Ohio and on Capitol Hill. Congenial and respected, his portfolio is extensive. A former Cincinnati area congressman who also worked in the Bush administration. His experience landed him a spot on the committee tasked to trim at least one and a half trillion dollars in deficit spending, a job he compares to a trip to the dentist. Other members of the House and Senate said that um, it was like a root canal. <laughs> and they would they would never accept and i agreed with them on the root canal part it is a hard job and at the end of the day you don't make many friends because tough decisions have to be made his positive can-do outlook has much to do with his background as a native of the buckeye state to better understand rob portman you have to get him outside of the washington beltway to a place like this lebanon ohio i'm at the golden lamb ohio's oldest continuously operating business walking through the doors is like walking back in time Thank you for calling Bone Lamb. Giving CBN News a rare tour of the 208-year-old inn and restaurant. It's the president's room where all 12 presidents have their photograph, of course. Senator Portman explained his connection to it and his support for small businesses. This place is, is part of me. My grandfather and grandmother, you know, devoted their life to it. They made this their, their life's work. The Golden Lamb has been in his family for 85 years, bought by his grandparents before the Great Depression and managed by his mother. Some of his childhood memories start here. I'm and, uh, glad to see you. We don't get to see, see that at all. I know. I'm in Washington too much these days. Today, he co-owns the inn with his brother and sister. We were all kind of invested in this place, and we still are. I mean, this is uh, really a labor of love. Business runs in their blood. His father, Bill, started a forklift company with just five employees. He was uh, uh, taking a big risk. My mom was a bookkeeper, lost money the first few years, but the American dream kicked in for him. Portman returned to Ohio in 2007, thinking he was done with politics. But he didn't like watching from the sidelines as Washington responded to the recession. I saw the government using really the excuse of a weak economy and a financial crisis to create more government and to push onto the American entrepreneurial society, you know, more and more restraints in, in government activity. That's the perspective he brings to the Super Committee. While skeptics see the Super Committee as too unaccountable, too powerful, and its reach too extensive, Others see it as the last best hope of getting the nation's fiscal house in order. And if an agreement is reached, it may well be because of someone like a Rob Portman. We do have differences of opinion, and those have also been expressed already, uh, some publicly, some privately. Both sides have staked out their bargaining positions. Republicans say no new taxes. Democrats say no deal without it. A stalemate, however, would lead to tough across-the-board cuts in defense and domestic programs. Portman tells CBN News that pain could be just the beginning. You could have another downgrade. And you could certainly have a stock market reaction that would be negative. Um, and I think nobody who looks at it objectively would want that to happen. Observers believe his history of working across the aisle will be key if the committee's six Democrats and six Republicans reach an agreement. Less than two months to their deadline, Portman says it can be done. I think all 12 members of the committee seem to understand the importance of the project, which is really to try to bring the country back to fiscal sanity. Portman's experience and Ohio roots have some speculating about his political future. You're going to be a president here in a few years. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to be where I am. That's it. Several GOP hopefuls have sought his advice on the economy. And as the classic swing state, the Ohio senator's name has been floated as a potential running mate for the eventual Republican nominee. But his older brother suggests he's solely focused on his current job. I think he's certainly very capable of being a VP candidate. I think he's also, uh, <clears throat> you know, committed to himself that he's just been elected a senator to be one of the to be a great senator. For now, he's already proven why he's one to watch. John Jessup, CBN News, reporting in Lebanon, Ohio.